Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Andrew. I wanted to do a quick follow up video to the drop details video that I just put out about the Spider Man drop. Um, I was, you know, just kind of caught off guard with all the information and I didn't finish the Medium article. So um, there are some details at the very end that I thought it was important for everyone to know. So I'm going to go through that in just a second here. But Real quickly, I was just doing the math on the number of drops uh, or the number of collectibles that they're going to drop on this one at the prices that they're going to, and check this out. If And this is going to probably be in one day, if not over the weekend. But we have, remember, 32,000 editions of the Common at $40. We have 16,000 editions at $50. We have 9,000 editions at $100. We have 2,500 editions at $250. And then we have 1,000 editions at $400 for that secret rare. So once they sell out of all of this, I add it all up. That's going to be $4,005,000 that they're going to sell of just the very first Marvel digital collectibles. I guarantee you they're going to sell out. You know, it's probably going to take a little bit to sell out the, the commons and the uncommons because it's such a high uh, number there, but they're eventually going to sell out of these things. So if anyone has worried about the health of the company, all that kind of stuff, I mean, they're basically going to make $4 million in one drop. Crazy. Now, this was the important details here. At the very end here, it talks about the secondary market fees here. So... With the introduction of Marvel Digital Collectibles on BV, a 6% licensor fee will be applied to Marvel sales in the secondary market. With the existing VV 2.5% secondary market fee, the total fee for Marvel items sold in the secondary market will be 8.5%. As an example, if a Marvel collectible sells for 100 gems in the secondary market, the seller will receive 91.5 gems. That's 100 gems minus the 8.5 gems, which equals 91.5 gems. So you got to keep that in mind. You know, depending on what your strategy is for this, you're basically going to have to take into account almost a 10% fee there when selling it in the aftermarket. So just wanted to. You know, I, I was going through the details again after uh, doing that video and I, that popped up. And like I said, I just was, I was so excited about the other details before that I skipped this part. But I want to give you that heads up because this is a little bit different. You definitely have to count uh, for these fees. And this is going to be interesting to see. It looks like, you know, for all the Marvel collectibles, uh, probably moving forward, it's going to be the same thing. So if you are in this to make money or flipping, you know, all this kind of stuff, uh, or even just collecting and you plan on, you know, selling down the road, you got to take into account that this 8.5% fee onto there. So just want to give you that heads up. Um, it was definitely uh, some information I want to get out to you. But ultimately, I mean, we are taking part in the first ever Marvel digital NFT drop. And it's really exciting stuff. So let me know what you guys think about this, uh, that information down there. Did you guys know about this? Had you heard about this before? Were you expecting this? Uh, I definitely, you know, it doesn't surprise me, but you know, I didn't, I wasn't thinking about this ahead of time as well. So I want to give this information out to you as well. Let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to get these updates, and I'll see you guys on the next one.